Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna have a couple of trades. Okay, I will take this trade with 50. You know, I will go with the bars right here. This is kind of risky trade. Oh yes, we have, I mean, we have this gap up against us. But I took this trade because you can see that the market is coming uh, down in a red green pattern. And this is a pattern that can give us a retracement. All right. And also, you can see that we have been going uh, down like this. And then we broke this trend line. So it can be a pullback and then market decides to go up. Okay. That's why I took this trade with 50. Um, because my only reason is this one and this pattern needing retracement. All right. Let me see. Okay. If this was breaking this, this area would be strong buy area because it would be a very big QM, okay? But since it's not breaking this area, I cannot really say that. But still, we have a QM down here. We can check the higher time frame for confirmation. And also, today, I will answer one question uh, about outside bar and engulfing. Somebody asked about... Okay, we have engulf for the QM, so we will check... Yes, we also have the lower time frame entry. Okay, somebody asked about um, and the difference between QM and outside bar. Okay, so the difference is they are basically the same, but for example, if you look at this, it looks like this. Okay, this candle, if you consider the 50% of this candle, half of this candle, this uh, red one here, it's much smaller than 50% of this candle. But in the next scenario, we have this one. Okay? If you consider the 50% here, this candle is much bigger than the 50% of the previous candle. So, the, this is engulfing pattern and this is the outside bar. Okay? And outside bars usually have higher probability to give us a retracement. Okay, for example, if I go to the one minute, you can see that this is outside bar and they give us, they gave us retracement. Okay, is this outside bar? Let me see, it's kind of outside bar, but this one, if you look at this one, this is engulf. All right, and we don't have retracement for this one. Of course, we have the, this trade here because of this doji trade, but it's still, in general, outside bars have higher probability to give you the retracement. All right, so imagine, imagine you have a doji and then you have an outside bar. So you have double confirmation for this doji break and outside bar giving you the retracement. So you can take the next trade as a sell. All right, so that's how you should combine things. Okay, so the price is approaching this QM area. Uh, as soon as it touch, I will get into the trade, okay? Let's see. Okay, it's rejecting before even touching that. All right, let's see. Yes, this is how we trade QMs. Make sure, oh, I enter right here. Make sure this is on flat mode and it's on plus one, okay? If you take 10 QM trades, uh, most of them is gonna be winning trade, okay? It seems that this one is about to be a losing trade. Okay, I go one more here. Okay, at least we're gonna win one of them. Three, two, one. Okay, no problem. Now let's see why we lost the first first entry. Okay, so this is the QM setup. We also have the confirmation for that. Let's go for the three minute time frame. Yes, you can see that the confirmation is here. So let's go back to 30 minutes. Okay, at the 30 minute, we can see that the rally based rally. So we mark this area as the entry. Okay, let's go lower time frame if we can find a safer entry. 10 seconds. All right, still this area. Okay, at the 10 seconds, you can see another QM has formed here. Okay. Let's go to five second. All right, at the five second time frame, 
we have another entry here, which is fresh. Okay. Another entry. So here we have two entry. One is high risk and another one is low risk. In this case, most of the QM trades respect the first one. Okay. But remember, if you want to take safe, safer trades, make sure your entry is inside or below the base. Okay. This is your base zone. This green zone is your base zone. Make sure it's you know, the lower your entry is compared to the base zone, the safer your trade's gonna be, okay? Let's say you took this trade, and let's just keep going down, okay? There's a reason for that. You go to lower time frame, and you find the second entry. This is the second entry. You can put a um, trade right here just to secure the previous one, okay? If you if you were putting here, the trade would close here, and uh, just, just as I did right now, okay? So, in general, Oh, there's another point. Uh, when you're checking the higher time frame for the confirmation, the engulf, see where does where your zone is. Okay, you can see that the zone is inside of the wicks of this engulf. Okay, it's not inside of the body of the engulf. So that's another sign of this QM being uh, a weak QM. Okay, so when you have this one, you have to take the safer entry. Okay. Yeah, you should just be flexible as possible. If you take 10 trades, I can guarantee that 7 out of them is going to be winning trade. You know, if you have full confirmation for this QM. Okay. Alright, let's take the next trade. Alright, we have... Buyer's entry here. Okay, this level has been respected a couple of times. You can see that. Now, it's not even closing on that one. So, I was about to, you know, I would take a buy if it was exactly closing here. Okay, it's been a long time I haven't traded SNR. So, let's just see uh, if we're going to take this trade. Okay, it's breaking that. It's not closing here. I was waiting for this one to close. If it's going to reject and close something like this, I will go with the bars. Otherwise, I will not go against this trend, okay? Let's see. This is a downtrend, right? And we haven't even break the previous. So now we are on just on this minor downtrend, but the market's movement is kind of weird. You can see we have we are in a red green pattern now. And okay, we have this gap up. I go with the sellers here. And I'm expecting a red candle here to be honest. We have minor downtrend, major downtrend. Okay, this area is a QM area, so normally it can start upward movement. But now you can see that the price uh, has got into this range. Okay, this is a micro range. And you can see green, red, red. Again, green, red, green, red, green. These color patterns are going to play out. And this gap up is here also a confirmation for us for this. If this QM was to start upward movement, its first target is would be this up here. But I was waiting for this one to see if it's really breaking this swing. If it was breaking this swing, you know, when you have a downtrend and then you break the... As long as you haven't broken the previous swing, it's going to either stay in a ranging market or it's going to just keep dropping. Okay, but once you break this... It means that the buyers are becoming strong. There will, there will be a pullback and go up, which will be a QM. So imagine um, this trend to the downside would be broken by this candle. Okay, by this candle or this candle. It would create us a QM and then the next candle would come down and the target would be up here. 
Okay, but it didn't do that, so it's it means it just wants to stay in this either base or she's gonna keep dropping. Okay. Alright, I took this trade simply because we are at the uptrend and then we are at the base. Okay, so uptrend, base, another uptrend. And why I took this? Because it's an engulf. Okay, we have the retracement and then we can go in the direction of the trend. Plus, we have red green pattern here. It also respects the red green pattern. So, what is the downside of this trade? We have a little bit of gap up. So that's a negative point. Another negative point, I want you to say this in the comments, why this is a seller's area, okay? There's a very strong point that I probably should take this with 50 because it's so risky right now. If I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm observing, it's super risky. The market's gonna come down, okay, after this candle. And I want you to say this in the comments. Oh my God, it's rejecting. All right, look at this, so yeah. That's it for today's video. I know that the market is going to come down. Okay, look at this freaking round number. Look at this QM. Okay, thank you for watching. Peace out.